Hi, this is CBRadioMagazine.com. I've got a very quick video for you today, but I uh, wanted to show you guys this as I haven't had one ever in my hands before. It's an Autech Research WM1 computing meter. Very highly respected meter. Uh, when we talk peak active, uh, active peak reading meters, often you'll hear about the Bird 43P, and that's the one you always see in the CB Technician videos. Very highly thought of meter. Well, this one's also very highly thought of, and the ham radio crowd really adopted this one uh, back when they came out. Lots of reviews on it, lots of positive reviews on it on eHam. Uh, unfortunately, they're not made anymore. They stopped making them about six to seven years ago. It was a small company, and I believe it was uh, the guy who ran it passed away, unfortunately. But uh, very cool, very highly thought of in terms of being very accurate uh, for the readings. It is an active peak reading meter. It means it needs to have power uh, for the circuit to work correctly. Uh, has two meter meters on the front of it. It has an SWR meter and a watt meter on it. So it's really nice to be able to have both of those and see it at the same time independently. Uh, the construction on this is really what blows me away. It's, you know, so many things these days are plastic or they're kind of thin sheet metal. This is like steel and it's very, very heavy duty. I mean, I can press as hard as I can here and this king won't even move or bend at all. So very strong construction. You can actually see the board in here. Um, personally, I'm not sure of the reasoning for leaving this open, but uh, you can see in there and you can actually see the circuit board inside. You can see the power plug is right here and then we have a cord coming out of it. Now, some of you guys immediately are like, well, it's a meter, where are my uh, connections for my coax? And another interesting thing about it, this is the, the head unit basically, and this is your remote connection for your coax. So it, it's connected by this cable here. And then you have your coax connections here uh, for your uh, in and, and uh, transmitter coming in and your antenna going out here. And this is on a little box and there's a little circuit in here as well. And there's a connection and there's a disconnect and you can actually pull these apart. And there's the plug on that. Um, the reasoning on this is the remote part of it's pretty cool. You can actually put this on your you know, radio table and then you could hide this out of view and put it underneath if you wanted to down below and run your coax to it and that way you know you don't have a big mess of wires on your desk so that's a nice feature there's also a longer cable uh, extension that uh, you can get that can go in between this and your remote piece so if you wanted to use this in a car you could set this up front i mean and with this long cable i think it's like eight to ten feet long you could put it in the trunk if you wanted to and have your uh, coax hooked up there and then have that piece connect in between these two and have your remote head so very cool and unique in those features um, i'll zoom in here and give you a nice close-up look and tell you a little bit more forgot to show you this before i zoom in i'm going to show you the power supply that came with this one and there is a uh, little wall wart here that plugs into your AC power and then there is a power plug here. It's an active peak reading meter and they do require power to actually activate the circuit correctly. So you do need power and this one comes with this. You could run it mobile and run it off the 12 volt off the vehicle. Um, but anyway, just needed to mention the power side of that. All right, wanted to give you guys a nice close up view of this so you can see all the detail on it. Um, on off switch here and you can see the power lights on when it's in the on position. Average and peak uh, switch here so you can measure average power or peak power on the meter here. Uh, you have a watt selection 20, 200, or 2000 for the different scales. Over here on the readout you can see there's a 20 watt scale, 200 watt scale, or 2000 watt scale. SWR meter over here. This operates independently so these work at the same time uh, and they'll operate at the exact same time so you can see both uh, independently. There are little set screws here for zeroing out the needles. That's really all they're for is just if your needle's slightly off, you can zero it out with the set screw here. And uh, I'll give you a quick test and show you the, the power on the, the peak power measurement here. Um, one other thing I'll just note is most of these had white faces. This one actually has black with white. Most of them were white with black, so a little different there. Um, meter is very accurate. I measured it against some other meters I have that I knew their accuracy was pretty good, and this one seems very, very accurate. Uh, with the test real quick, I'll just show you guys. I have a radio that's keen about 8 watts AM, swinging about 52, 55 watts, right in that range uh, on my other meters. And on here, see I'm swinging a little bit of PEP, picking up my voice, but it's right about 8 watts uh, audio. And it swings up right about 52, 55 watts in that range on the 200 watt scale. So very accurate. You can see the peak meter holds and then it slowly falls back. Um, excellent peak reading meter. 
Very good reviews out there. Uh, unfortunately, these aren't made anymore. Getting tougher to find in good condition and used, they're actually selling uh, in good condition almost as much as they were new or more than they were new in some cases. So uh, these meters are now getting a little bit older, but uh, as you can see, still very accurate and uh, still a cool meter. So thanks for watching, cbradiomagazine.com.